Angela Kelly's baking up some Mardi Gras goodies this morning. She joins us live from Grand Shoot with more. Hi, Ange. Hey guys, we're at Manderfield's Bakery in Grand Chute. They just opened their this new location uh, not even six months ago. It's beautiful, and they're gearing up for Mardi Gras. This is Jerry Manderfield. Good morning, Jerry. Hey, good morning. So let's start with uh, these cookies over here. Let's look at all the goodies you've created. Well, this is a new idea. We took our, our all year on cutout cookies, the same same cookie that we make every Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving, and we put a Mardi Gras spin on it. Just uh, tied in with the bright colors, the purple, gold, and green. They're so beautiful. Well, thank you. And what about these cakes here? This is an uh, eight-inch theme cake, again, with the Mardi Gras colors and the mask. And we uh, started a new uh, mini mini party cake, a little tiered, small tiered mini cake. It uh, used a, a six-inch and a four-inch layer. Mm -hmm. And we threw on the beads all the, all the fixings that we use on the King's Cakes. Right, and the King's Cakes are really the, the Mardi Gras tradition, and it's kind of a long story. It's, it's, you know, kind of a lot of religious meaning behind it with yes. the three wise men started in the 12th century, mm -hmm. but it's kind of come to this point where, you know, it's, it's so popular. This is what they eat in, in New Orleans and yeah, yeah. Louisiana, and you can see the the baby on the cake there and what really happens is they hide that somewhere in the cake and whoever yes. gets that slice of cake um, is either named king or queen of the party or gets to throw the party for the next year or gets to throw the party for the next year and I know you guys were wondering well what's the baby doing on the outside yeah makes perfect well, sense yes and it can be a choking hazard so you, you, we put that on the outside rather than put it on the inside before baking yeah, so mm -hmm. when you buy this, it comes in the box like this. They have all these really pretty little boxes. You can just hide it in there yourself before your guests come over, before you go to the party. That way, Manderfields doesn't get in trouble right. in case uh, right. somebody breaks a tooth. I like uh, a two-year-old finds that cake first and chokes on the little baby. Got it. Exactly, exactly. So what we're going to be doing um, coming up through the morning is we're going to head back into the kitchen, in the bakery, I should say, and we're going to be decorating with all these beautiful colors and beads. And we also have a behind-the-scenes look at how they assemble these cakes. Uh, they do a braiding technique, and we're going to be showing you that a little later, too. All right, looks okay. good. Cool. Thanks, Ann. Okay. See ya.